I've been getting a lot of questions on Twitter um, last night about how exactly you go about getting the packs on the new Curse client, um, especially the like Agrarian Skies and Magic Farm 3, and how to use the various features. So, really quickly, I'm pretty sure Direwolf is later going to do a much better version of this, but for now, We'll go with this. The first thing you need to do is go here to beta.cursevoice.com and download the snappy Windows only, sorry, Mac is coming, but for now, Windows only version of Curse Voice. You're going to install that. It's going to ask you if you want to install Minecraft. If it doesn't ask you where to install Minecraft, go ahead and go in here into your settings section and you'll see a plugin. And you can turn on the Minecraft plugin, and you will have Minecraft show up. You can set your memory allocation. You can set advanced Java arguments in here. These will apply to all packs, not just one or two. So keep that in mind. You will need a Curse account. You will need to log in. It's free to you know, log in. Once you have Minecraft installed, we're going to ignore the voice section because there's plenty of guides on how to do that. You'll go to the Minecraft tab here, and you can pick to browse FTB mod packs or browse all mod packs. All mod packs will include the FTB mod packs and third party mod packs, which currently is just my mod packs because it has not been opened up to the general public for the purpose of making mod packs yet. That's coming. We just want to get some bugs worked out before we let everybody start putting packs up. When you pick a mod pack that you want to install, let's say you want to install Magic Farm 3, you will mouse over it. And you can mouse over it, you can click, you can get some information, you know, whatever the mod author, mod pack author, a, me, has put in here. Um, you can get the change logs for the latest versions and any current versions that are available. Then, either from here or from the previous page, you can press install. It will say, hi, I'm installing, yay! It'll unpack the files. It says we're grabbing all of the required files for you. And now I have two copies of Magic Farm 3 installed. Actually, I have two different versions, because this one is 1.1.11, and this one is 1.1.20. In this way, if you wanted to test out a new version before you uh, upgraded your main install, you could do so. Now, let's say I don't want this one. I wanted my actual one. I can delete this profile. It says, yes, I want you to go away. And then I have the previous install which, as we can see, it says there's an update available. If you're on um, the main pack page, it will also show the update available. And that was a derpy thing that we'll fix. Uh, it will say update available right there. It will give you a list of all the installed mods. And in this case at the bottom, some people have been asking about this, you'll see some things that say unknown. This is not because these mods aren't on curse or that they, we don't actually know what the mod author is. This is because these specific versions of the mod are dev versions that were made to fix some bugs that I found in um, a previous version of Magic Farm 3 and so these specific files aren't hosted on curse. So since they're not hosted on curse it doesn't show. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to push the update button I see what the latest changelog was, which was that I removed Applied Energistics because it's not supposed to be in Magic Farm 3. I love AE2, but it doesn't go in here. We press continue. We let it download. La 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 What I like is that I can actually see what it's doing as opposed to just waiting forever hoping it's actually doing something. I like that. Makes me happy. And there we go, it's been updated. Applied Energistics is no longer in there because I removed it. 
Now here we can say that there's no resource packs installed. Well, let's say I wanted to install one. Let's go in here and let's sort by last updated. Could install Sortec, but I want to install my mod pack. So let's go by uh, author. And we're looking for Jaded Cat. Blah, 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 blah. And there we are, and we press install. And this will install it only in that profile. So if I wanted to use a different texture pack for each of the packs, I could. And this is going to take a little while because um, my pack is rather large. Now for Agrarian Skies, uh, it is out in alpha as well. Um, people will be able to add maps to CurseForge, which I could then go in here and search for maps if there were any that were compatible, which there aren't currently, but there will be eventually. Other things you can do. Uh, this will let you install a mod pack, which will take you back to the same page, or you have this button here that says create custom profile. We'll call this random stuff. And we can pick our ver Minecraft version, we can pick our Forge version, and we press OK, and it's going to go get the Forge. And it makes this thing with this lovely artwork that is not mine, and I have no idea where it comes from, but we have it. And it says, hey, you don't have any mods. No mods. So we go over here. And we go, let's see, uh, let's say I wanted some tech mods. Oh, I don't know. Um, let's go with technology and just see what's available, and we'll sort by... Last updated, because I like the latest updates. Oh, hey, cool. We'll grab progressive automation. We'll install that. And now progressive automation is in this pack. Eventually, this will also be part of how you will get a mod pack onto CurseForge. Right now, that doesn't work. There's another method. I'll be doing a video on that later. For now, though, this is what um, players can easily do with it. You can make your own mod packs. Uh, private for you or ready for uploading when that feature is available. You can download current packs. You can update packs as soon as an author releases an, releases an update. If you, let's see if I have any mod packs that have any, uh, of course I don't because that would be way too easy. And um, if there is an update for a mod that you have installed in a pack, there will be a little green arrow over here that will say, hey, this mod has an update available. Do you want to install it? And you can click that, and it will happily take you to install the updated mod. This is useful for us mod pack authors, which often we've got like, you know, 100 mods we're trying to keep track of. And maybe we miss the email from Curse that says, hey, this mod updated. We can just actually look at our list of mods and see if there's any updates. I can't because I don't actually, I, I updated all of mine the other day. Oops. And that's that. I think that covers everything that's been asked of me. Um, mod packs can be sorted by last updated, popularity, featured, name, author, total downloads. Um, apparently you guys are a bit crazy for Ag Skies 2 right now. Um, the featured thing is uh, just a, hi, these are some of the best mod packs we've currently got. Go ahead, play them, have fun. Um, that'll swap out some, so... Yeah, I, I, I think that covers everything. Hmm. Boring. Alrighty, bye!